martial artists to begin with, or enthusiasts, or know nothing throughout the years? Well, we're just good actors. <laughs> well, well, we're dancers. We're dancers, yeah, yeah so we move. By coordination. By coordination. I just want to say, since my mom is here, the divine blogger. Momzy, my lolo was in Thrilla in Manila. You know, they talk about it in rap songs. He's actually also a boxer. So, there so I go. think I'll just claim that I'm the best actress because I don't do anything. But I'm not a sports fan. 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 Now, of course, I want to ask Diana over here because. You have this one moment here that sticks out where you're trying to grab the spear. Dino, Dino, next time, next time, then, but you make it to the money later. Some movie. Hi, 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 Kaya ko ba talaga ito? O nagtiba na yun doon? Kaya kaya. Kaya kaya yun kasi dumaan din naman kami sa train. Tsaka siya talaga yung pinaka nananakit ng mga stuntman. Oo, kilala siya dyan. Nangahampas. Kailangan kasi yung totoo eh. Since 2006 ay lang ka dyan. Diana Subiri hurts people. Sabi naman naman nila. Gusto naman nila yun. Hindi naman sila magra-reklamo yan. Hindi naman. Kasi siya yung producer. Parang meron niya. And one time, she, she got hurt herself. <laughs> I'm sure nobody is gonna complain because it will come out great in the film. Now, of course, speaking of intense action scenes, that is usually accompanied by intense special special effects. Did you guys play a part in any application of the special effects? You know what? Who better answer this question? But of course, our director, Derek Marquez. Yes, so maybe call him up on stage, please. Everyone, please do join us. We always love your stories, your passion behind all of this. I like your shirt. Thank, Thank you. Shirt. Thank you. Shirt. Before I, before you ask me another question. Can you question. stay in the middle, okay. please? Um, this movie yeah. will not come. There. Okay. Sorry. This, this, uh, this movie will not come together if not for two people that we wreck their brains. You know, try to put this film together. Uh, one of the writers is here, Clay Ramirez. Thank you, Clay. Thank you, Clay. And the other person is Sanguenta, who was also part of the cast, but they didn't make it today. Anyway, what is your question, sir? So, how was the execution like? Because the next element now that you said there was a long process, long productions, mixing and matching, of course, the fight scenes with the proper effects. How was your execution with this? Okay, uh, in Encantada 2006, Sunshine and Isa never wrote broomsticks. <laughs> They rode broomsticks here and they flew on broomsticks. Yeah. So that's fun. Um, the basics of, of special effects is basically the same, but a lot of things are different. You could ask the girls that suddenly they get a call from Elaine, our producer, that you should come to Riot, our effects house, and you should put on your costumes because you're going to be taken for your digital double. So all of them are like, huh? So we never did that back in 2006. So here, we'll let you, you know, guess when you see the film when it's them or their digital double doing the, the stunt. No, so that's you, the big, no, that's the you biggest mentioned the broomstick. Sorry, I don't yeah. mean to cut you off, but the broomsticks. I want to ask the experience for them. How was that like? As you said, they didn't ride one back yeah. then. How was the experience like? Isa, go ahead. Buti na lang na try ko yung Harry Potter sa... Fan ka mo na ng Harry Potter. So nakasakay na ako dada yung broomstick. But when we were filming, and this is like late uh, in the morning, uh, uh, that was the very last thing I was supposed to do. And then I was so happy. Ah, she, she was like, smiling. I was smiling. She was not all supposed to be smiling. And then I said, wait, we're supposed to go to like a war. Yes. Like, Ma, can we be taking me right? Me right. right. She had to do it all over again. And I was like taking a video and I was like, Ga, but can I cut out? I just realized that I was having so much fun. Okay. Oh my gosh. No, but was kissing inner child mo when you do something. Because if you see it in other Hollywood films, that's how we did it. Basically, there was a broomstick that's physical. They rode on the broomstick. They had harness on themselves, and then there's this guy in green to, 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 to erase him out, moving the the, the the gimbal that they're on. So oh, you have to talk about that. The gimbal was like similar to the Superman. Yes, right? yeah. If you watch Superman, that's exactly how we, we we have it here. So it's a matter of making it look good, and then 
the physical aspect is easy to do, cause, or not, not easy, but uh, logical to do is you do your ride on the broomstick and then they will make you move with the, with the harness and all, up and down, sideways. But to erase it and to make it look real is the job of Riot Inc. So just watch that. You saw a, a small piece of what, what that, thing, that thing is about. But them on broomstick fighting a, what, 40-foot Helga monster? That's interesting. I want to ask you, you seem like you had a lot of fun doing this. How much fun did you actually have, Derek, doing all of this? Nako, si Derek Mark, pinakita mo mabahe niyan. Ano ba? This is him in his element. Derek, you, so for casual dinner, dapat makita rin namin yung, yes, yung bahay mo. What happens in the house? Full of toys. Actually, full of toys, action figures. For the record, uh, Mark Francis is already setting up another dinner suit over there. So, so yes, everyone needs to see the action figures. You've talked about the differences, like you know, riding the uh, broomstick, for instance. But what are the other bigger differences, or the biggest differences between now and then, the fantasy area back then? I guess it's not really the technical aspect. It's getting your jobs right, from writing to special effects, because it's an immediate impact now because of social media. We do something wrong, you know, we'll be called out for it. So we have to be very careful, and then the standards that we try to elevate, because they're expecting something better than Encantaja 2006. So we really had to deliver and make it really big. That's why I was telling the iFlix boss, are you sure this is going to cost? So they said, go, then here we are. Well, you definitely did have the green light, and speaking of green light, Kirill had the green light to create an amazing song for this. Like, you you already have to you already have to hear this. I believe we're gonna we're gonna play the song. Could we please play it? Everybody has to hear this. You know, I think you said it perfectly because you mentioned words like strength, uh, together, uh, journey, which also brings us to this month. It is Women's Month, Women's Women's Empowerment. We celebrate, of course, all the women today and their journey. How have your characters represented and empowered women? Because I know you all played different characters in, in, in the movie. Yes, yeah, so how does how has that brought about women empowerment? Characters talaga. Can I say that before characters? I think um, this whole journey alone has um, been a true testament to a more empowered versions of ourselves. Um, you know, coming up with this production company uh, doing this, having the courage to take that leap, I feel um, really and <laughs> everything that comes with it. Um, parang it, it really shows that we are more brave at this point in our lives, and um, I guess uh, we are ready also. And and parang na patunay namin that we can which is very empowering. But of course, for the film Mystified, for our roles, I play a teacher who always tries to do right by my students, and I save my student from this not-so-cool situation. Um, so, you know, um, yun, yun yung ginawa ni, Ad ni Adi, ni Adela. Um, kailangan itama ko yung mali at bawal ang victim. Uh, with regards to my character, uh, my character Althea, there's a part in the movie where Althea is quite um, unsure of what to do next because um, of a certain situation. Uh, well, Althea is also a doctor, and then somewhere along the way, she like felt like, uh, what's the use of my power if I cannot use it for uh, for the betterment of other people? And there's this beautiful scene where Isa tells me that. Uh, I, I tell her that I am quite unsure of uh, what to do next. I, I feel weak and, and she says to me, na, no, you can do it. I believe in you. And I think ultimately, the theme of the movie is about friendship, sisterhood. And um, it's more of like uh, when, when these four girls come together and lift each other up, something good will, uh, will come about. It's basically women supporting other women. You know, honestly, I, I'm a little bit at loss for words because we can ask because I'm just like to all of you how you're passionate about this project and I honestly say I've done this uh, how many times I've lost count already. This is honestly the first time where I have lost my train of thought. 
just listening to listening to talk, listening you guys talk about your passion for each other, for empowering women and your characters, your journey throughout all of this. But of course, moving on to a little bit of a lighter note because we all want to remember this project. <laughs>